What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Slime Rancher modded. So today we're gonna pick up where we left off. We are farming all of the gold Largo slimes. This is fantastic. We're making all the monies in the world, but that's not the point of the modded series. Of course, we're gonna make lots of money, but um, we have some things we need to get into. Like I said, we are trying to work towards getting these things unlocked. So Quicksilver, Tar, and Singularity slimes. Um, I don't actually, I need to look up the Singularity thing. I'm not actually sure how to even get those, but we got things to do. We got things to unlock. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So first thing, upgrades. Yes, we need all of the upgrades. We got to make sure we're fully upgraded, ready to rock and roll. Next thing we need to do, we actually need to unlock the slime science area. So we can actually start doing some slime science. Uh, proceed to activate. It's 10,000. We have 24,000. Fantastic. We've done it. Yes, we can make gadgets and slime stuff now. Fantastic. So this is what we need in order to. Oh, there's Victor Humphrey's place. Once it gets unlocked, that's going to be super cool. Um, But we need to make the we got to get all the drills and uh, things like that unlocked now we are going to have to make we're gonna have to make some standard slime pins because we're gonna need all different kinds of ports for stuff um so we are gonna make some like basic we're gonna like just basically combine some some slimes and uh hopefully get most of the slimes that we're gonna need unlocked uh yep the refinery i'm aware of what it is oh it's super exciting it's super exciting okay so what do we need in here so novice pump novice apiary pink teleporter pink warp depot drone med station hydro turret slime ball hoop uh, slime stage, novice quarter stair, galactic fashion pod. Yeah, these are the things that we need to unlock in order to actually, can we just unlock everything and just be done with it? Uh, the pink teleporter is going to be huge, but I'm pretty sure for the teleporter, we need quantum slimes. All right, now we're broke. <laughs> Let's see. I think I want to say the teleporter we need. Uh, oh, strange diamond, hexcomb, deep brine and pink ports. Okay, so we need there is something that we need to harvest the tars and i think there was a certain area that we had to uh man i really don't want to use novice stuff if i don't have to in order to fabricate gadgets you'll need to shoot uh, resources into your refinery try shooting a plort into the refinery remember any resources deposit cannot be removed yes so oh yeah we need to set up pens there's what four five is there one on this side too? I think there's only five. Yeah, there's five pens on this side, which if we combined two different slimes in every one, that would allow us to have 10 different plorts being gathered right here. So that would be, that'd be a good start. We definitely need pink. Pink is like one of the ones that we need the most of. Uh, let's see, what do we need right now? Okay, so we need pink rock rad. Uh, pink tabby boom pink phosphor honey okay so we have honey plorts we have all the honey plorts we need right now so that's not bad so we need pink phosphor tabby boom rock and rad oh my gosh we need so we need so many different types of types of slimes right there um and then it'd be great if we could also get them all to eat one type of food not like specific food but like uh like either fruits or veggies that way we could only just you know we could just plant one of them and just be good it, it wouldn't be like their ideal food but it would still be better than none nothing else you know what i mean so let's grab all of let's grab some honey stuff and we'll throw those into the refinery because that's what it wants us to do right now it wants us to throw that stuff in the refinery and then we'll sell our gold ports that we have and then we will start getting Actually, wasn't there a remote deep? Did we get the remote depositing thing? Pink warp depot. A set of two gadgets that allow you to remotely transfer items between two points. No, I don't think it's here yet. So there is one that is a remote refinery link. And that allows us to deposit things in the refinery that were not like next to the refinery. So we can have things everywhere else. Uh, look at that the refinery my gosh we've done it and then we can access it and we can see how much we have of all these different things oh my gosh there's so many different types of things that we can put in here that's fantastic okay uh the builder shop builder shop allows you to purchase blueprints the blueprints required to be sure to check out the builder shop option for new new blueprints yeah i did that already thank you and gadget mode in order to place gadgets you have to go into t fantastic we just did that wonderful wonderful okay 
so we need to figure out what slimes uh yes i'm aware that there's there's certain things we can activate pick that stuff yep mm -hmm. i'm aware thank you thank you so since we're about to start up our we're, since we're gonna ramp up our slime collecting uh we're gonna need more areas to do this so we need to sell some of this stuff so we can go ahead and unlock the other two areas and uh get some pens and stuff built up and put in all right so let's go unlock this area this is going to give us the access to uh, the grotto <gasps> dun, 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 dun. and then let's go access this area as well the overgrowth dun, 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 dun. and then once we get um ogden ortiz that'll be the teleport for that guy and then we can have stuff over here as well and then we should oh we have this uh the docks that we can unlock now too so the docks is where i always put i always put the uh the um the tangle slimes down here because they always reach out of their pen and grab stuff um is that a rubber duck in there what a perfect place for a puddle slime. There you go, buds. Have fun. Yes. Enjoy yourselves, puddle slimes. Now, I'm hoping that this actually works because I, I want to say that last time I put puddle slimes in here, they disappeared. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So we've got those. We've got that um what else do we need to do we actually kind of start need we we kind of need to uh start doing the 7z rewards as well in order to get more things unlocked actually you know what let's go down here we gotta start grabbing some some slimes anyways so let's see rocks uh tabbies we do need some pink slimes as well I'm going to need all you guys. Like, you're all coming with me. All right, so we got Rock Tabby uh, Pink. And let's see, we're going to make Largos, like, out of all of them. And honestly, I think we're going to probably use Carrots. I think we're going to make them all vegetable eaters. And then we can just use... We'll probably just use Carrots. I think Carrots are fairly dense and give us a lot per per deal. So we'll do that. I'm trying to think what we're going to mix because rocks already. So we could do a rock tabby that would they would like veggies, uh, then pink something, probably pink something that requires that likes fruit. That way we can get everybody liking the veggies. All right, so I got some pens put up. Uh, let's go ahead and throw rocks in here. Oh, man, I don't really need that many slimes, though. I only really needed six. And if we're going to mix tabby and rock, you know what? Maybe we won't mix tabby and rock. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six in each one. And we'll put you guys over there. We'll put some pink slimes in here. All right, so there's those. So let's go get some more uh, slime types. So we can start mixing and matching and figure out what we need here. <laughs> I know we need boom, rad, and phosphor. So we'll head over there. We already have the honey slimes. Uh, let me just go ahead and make sure these guys are all fed. We got to make sure our money makers are fed up. Nice. I got a lucky slime. I caught one. <laughs> I caught you. Yo, mine. Yo, mine. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have a boom. Oh, we probably need crystals as well. Yeah, let's go grab... I actually really only need one slime of each in order to like mix and match. So let's grab because I got phosphor plorts over here. Oh, you know what? Let's go grab the rads because I know I need rads right now. I know that was one of the things that we specifically needed. So we'll grab uh, we'll grab one of those guys. Hopefully, hopefully there's some over here. Mm, there's a large rad. You know what? I guess we could feed it. Oh, hey, there you are. What's up, dudes? Awesome. Okay, so we got three rads. We got some booms. We got a lucky slime, which I think we're gonna throw into. I guess we could throw it into the pen with the uh, with the gold slimes, because they could be a golden lucky. Oh my gosh, it could be a golden lucky. 
That's like the ultimate. That's like the ultimate gold slime. A golden lucky slime. All right, lucky slime. We're gonna go in there. Have fun hanging out with those guys. <laughs> okay, and then we gotta figure out what. Okay, before we do any mixing and matching, like I said, I want to make sure everybody's on veggies. So rock slimes like veggies by default. So let's look at our slimes here. So rock slimes like veggies. Tabbies do not. Rad slimes do. So we're gonna make rad tabbies. Uh, one, two, and three. And then what do boom slimes like? Booms are a meat, so we're gonna mix those with, I guess the pink slimes. And then phosphor, what do phosphor like? Phosphor's like fruit. So I guess we can make phosphor rads, which or phosphor rocks, which these guys actually, they're gonna need the solar shade. And you guys can have fun eating these. Ta-da, enjoy. Okay, so we've already got roughly six types of plorts in here. Um, and then we need to start feeding them veggies. So I need to get a garden set up with carrots. Okay, what are the other ones that we're gonna need right away? Let's see here. We are gonna need quantum and hunter. We're basically gonna need like all of them. Puddle, we need puddle. I have puddle plort or puddle slimes already over there. I just don't really harvest them very often. So it looks like hunter, hunter and quantum, definitely. Now, quantum slimes, I always do the same thing with regardless because it's just easier to deal with them this way, is they just stay in the cave. I let them run free. I plant some lim um, phase lemon plants and the quantum slimes, they just run free in here because then they eat them and then we just go through and suck up everything. It's super easy. It's not even, not a bad time at all. Uh, but we got to get to the quantum slimes, which means we have to open some gates, which means we need some slime keys, which means we need to feed some Gordos. I think I'm going to turn these two into the carrot plorts, plots because I already have two uh, mint mangoes over there. Let's just remove the crops and put carrots in these. And these are going to be for the guys back there. This way that I'll kind of see them and hopefully I can collect them as needed. All right, so we gotta go active. We gotta go. We gotta go open some doors here. We gotta make that happen. So we're gonna head over. I have forty carrots, and I believe I'm trying to remember which ones are where and which ones unlock things. There's a rock gordo in there, but I think that just unlocks a teleporter back to the base. Now I think there's a phosphor one. What do phosphors like? And I don't think I have even. Uh, they like fruit. I have 29 mint mango. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but I believe, I think it's down here. Oh, hey, look it. <gasps> it's a present. Oh, there's an ornament. We got an ornament. Oh, neato. Um, no, it's not down here. Oh, it's, it's over there. I think, I think it's over there. There's a cave that has, I believe a phosphor gordo in it. So let's go see if we can find that guy. Uh, yeah, I think you're down here. You're hiding in here, aren't you? Are you hiding in here? <gasps> oh, look how happy he is. Okay, eat these. I don't think this is gonna be enough, but we'll see. No, it wasn't enough and you won't eat this. Darn it, because you don't like, you don't like veggies. All right, let's go find some more fruit. All right, I'm trying to find more fruit. I don't have any more fruit, but I do have some hens and I know you like meat. So we're going to have to give this guy a whole bunch of hens. So I'm just going to come in and drop these off as I stop by, but I need more fruit. What is that? Is that an odd onion? That's a carrot. Hey, here's some fruit. Okay, this should, this should get us to where we need to go with the, uh, the phosphor guy. Oh, actually. And I'll take you hens as well. Get over here. Okay, we'll take those and we'll give those to that tabby as well. I brought more fruit for you. Are you kidding me? How much fruit do you want? Oh, we unlocked the blue teleporter now. <laughs> I don't actually know what causes that to unlock. Uh, and the blue warp depot. I don't know if it's like a time-based thing or like you had to purchase the other stuff or like, I have no idea. Um, more pogo fruit, I guess. I think we're gonna need more than this though. 
I don't know how much I don't know how much fruit that thing wants. <gasps> we got star mail from Oki Miles. Ooh, that's who has the quicksilvers. And those, ooh, those are something we can farm now. You know, let's go get the eight progo fruit. Let's hope that's oh ooh ooh ooh. You guys are just finished just in time. All right, there's no way you need any more than this. It's about time. Yay, slime key! Oh, a present. Uh, an ornament. <gasps> it's a phosphor ornament. How cute. Okay, that's fine. Uh, drop that off. Anything good in there? Oh, uh, I don't have room for the hen. Actually, here. You guys want this? Here, eat all those. Good job. Where'd that hen go? Come here. I gotta go feed you a, tab a, a tabby. Okay, we're gonna throw all of our ornaments on this wall right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw them all right there for now. Uh, we could probably go through and sell. Are you guys like full of stuff? Oh my gosh, we're gonna be we're gonna be filthy rich, filthy rich. All right, here's the last of it, and we currently have seventy four thousand bucks. Seventy seventy four thousand dollars. It's fantastic. Okay. Uh, let me go throw some of these carrots in here so we can get some of these things going in order for us to actually be able to make some stuff. Uh, let's see. Is this the feeder? Okay, we're gonna put it on slow mode and we'll start off with like some in there. Uh, a little bit in all of them, I guess. All right, those guys are fed up. Uh, it is about nighttime. We got a message from Moki Miles. And I want to go over there because I know we can get Quicksilvers. So let's see what the message says. Star Mail, Mochi Miles. Well, it seems like we, like another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on the far away space rock. Congratulations, Mochi Miles. That's Miles with da da da. Getting this track, looking for the request ports. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, cool. Basically, I think we can sleep till morning. I think we can activate the uh, the trade. I think we can access the trade now. Is it Mochi? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, crystal rock and I don't think I have any crystal. Ooh, we were on our way to grab crystal, weren't we? Okay. So we'll grab some crystal slimes because we need crystal and hunter. I think wasn't crystal hunter slimes. Actually, crystal hunter is gonna be a bad combination because I think crystal slimes like odd onions, but they like they still like veggies, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so on our way over there, uh, is this enough hens for you? Are you are you about done? What in the heck? Yes, you are done. Thank goodness. Look at that. Now we have a teleporter back to our base. Can you guys get out of here, please? Here, you can run around with your friends over there. Have fun. Just get away from me. Uh, ornament? Is that a phosphor ornament? What the heck? and cube fruit and that okay don't really care all right let's go grab our crystals because we need those for um we need those for moki miles anyways and we need to make sure we fill that order because then she'll give us she'll invite us to her place and then we can get towards the quicksilver farming too which looks like it's gonna be uh, a little bit more money making than even the gold is right now which is kind of crazy hello there mr rock gordo I have 40 carrots. That should be enough for you. Because I think if you if I gave you 20 heartbeats, I think that is usually enough. But 40 of anything else should. Are you kidding me? Ugh. How about seven carrots and four heartbeats? Yes! Okay, cool. Now we have another teleporter open. So, oh, health module mark three. Heck yes. Uh, another phosphor ornament. What the heck? Another phosphor ornament. <laughs> What's with all the phosphor ornaments? I don't understand. Oh, there, there's the teal stripey one, which we already have as well. Oh, fantastic. All right, my little crystally dudes. I need you again. I actually just need your plorts, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, if I can find odd onions over here, that would be handy as well. I'm also trying to make sure that I can farm all of the basic, uh, all of the, the basic foods. There's an odd onion right there. I need you. I need that odd onion so bad. Uh, but I'm trying to farm all the basic things so that way if we need them for anything, we will have them. Ooh, odd onions almost done. 
Uh, here, you want those? No, let's just take care of these guys. Excuse me. Yeah, just go away. Odd onion. Perfect. And we have crystal. Actually, I really just need the... Huh. I really just need the plorts. You know what? We'll just take the crystals as well. What do these guys actually like to eat? I think it's the odd onion. Yeah, they like the odd onion, but it's still veggie, so that'll be okay. All right, so we're going to grow odd onions here. I'm going to take the carrots that I already grew here. So carrots basically grow within a bed of... uh, Or odd onions grow within a bed of carrots anyways. So it's not really going to matter. And then we can give those to... Uh, special slimes but then we'll have them for for future things because i'm pretty sure some people on the trade board want odd onions specifically all right so let's throw crystal slimes in here uh let's go ahead and just feed you because i need i need your i need your plortsies i need the poopsies okay so oh you only wanted one crystal oh my gosh that's funny <laughs> one crystal wait what was the other ones uh five pink and three rock easy enough and there's your five pink ones there's the three of those heck yes do i get an email i did indeed oh geez okay um let me go deposit this stuff we'll read the mail oh we also got a mail from bob <laughs> for bob <laughs> and uh we'll see if we can see if we can go to Moki miles's place yet and start working on the quicksilvery stuff all right, so those are all taken care of. Star Mail, Moki Miles. The other ranchers won't shut up about you in a starting year, so let's see what the fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you. So I went ahead, activated a spare tell activated a spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call a ranch expansion. The teleporter will take you to my estate. I have others too, where we can work out the details. Yes! Okay. So this is uh this is where we can start gaining quick silver slimes. This is exciting. I am very excited for this. Uh, let's see. Should we go ahead and sleep until morning? What's the uh, what's the current gold plort price? 402? Oh my gosh. All right. We probably should go through and sell. Because, yeah, we should go through and sell what we have. Because we have, we have quite a bit. Oh my gosh. We have over 100 honey in this one. Actually, that reminds me. I think we have upgrades that we should be uh, getting too. Uh, heart module three, power core three, and tank booster three. So now we can hold 50 items. That is so nice. You know, we never tried to make you a uh, a golden Largo, a golden lucky. <laughs> um, could you become a golden Largo? No, I had to try. We had to try. I have way too many honey slimes. Like I have way too much honey, <laughs> way too much honey being brought in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is such a pain just to try to go through this and empty it so it's just not laying everywhere. All right, let's go say hi to Moki and let's just kind of see what we need to do here because they said, I believe in the mod, that there was an upgrade that would allow you to go through the gate, through this gate, without the slimes coming out, I believe. So you found a set of soap since we're already running short on time. I'll get right to it. You're standing on one of my estates at the edge of the Nimble Valley, which is the only known home to the very rare Quicksilver Slimes. <laughs> Not for long. And everything you see here is my property, which means that I alone profit from all the Quicksilver reports that the Nimble Valley produces. Brilliant, I know. However, seeing Quicksilver reports is very uh, difficult and only highly skilled pro ranchers like myself can manage it, but I'm extremely busy since I've got a ranch to manage and a ton of Miles Tech businesses back on Earth to run. So I need you to get in there and do it for me. Naturally, you'll be compensated. We want you to be a happy little worker bee after all. Now pay attention because I don't like to repeat myself. First, you'll notice I've augmented that junker of a backpack you have with cutting edge miles tech. This never leaves the valley, so don't get excited. It will eventually. This augment will activate using a patented miles tech. At any time you try to enter another Nimble Valley, it'll swap from your vac, vac tanks too. Don't worry, you won't lose your junk you had in there. Next, take the teleporter to the Nimble Valley and get to work collecting Quicksilver ports. I'll explain things once you get there, but let me give you a quick rundown. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, yes. Okay, we already know how to we already know how to do this stuff, so. Uh, yes, okay, cool, and thank you. Fantastic, all right. So, I'm curious if the upgrade is in here? Or if it is, I'm interested. I'm super curious to see how this is gonna work. Oh, I'm super curious. I wanna know, I really wanna know. Um, I like our VAC upgrade too. The VAC upgrade looks super nice, but that 
is actually going to end this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So next episode, hopefully, we will be able to Quicksilver farm. And Quicksilver looks like it's going to be worth... Oh, well, I mean, the gold ports went up a lot. But Quicksilver's also very, uh, very valuable. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into that. And then eventually we'll have to get the... Oh, there it is, the gate hack. Hack the gate at Moki's Manor to render it ineffective. <laughs> ah, there it is. <gasps> yes. Disable gate hack. Disable your gate hack. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh. We have it here now. What? Oh, that is super cool. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Next episode, we're going to be doing this. It's going to happen. It's going to be a thing. But until next time, you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.